Hello people of YouTube. If you're like me and you're a bit of a Espresso fan, um, you might have found that sometimes you're traveling either in your car or going somewhere and you're just not able to get a decent cup of coffee. Um, maybe you've arrived at a hotel and they just don't have a, a coffee machine in the room or if it is, it's not great. And I was after something that I could take that would use Nespresso capsules and would be portable. And I came across this Conqueco um, portable espresso machine. Now, this is just a review. I'm not, uh, not an affiliate or I don't make anything out of this. This is my own machine. Um, and I bought it maybe uh, six weeks ago. Um, and, it's, and I've used it several times and it's absolutely great. Um, so it's not really an unboxing, but it does come uh, with um, a, an AC adapter, uh, AC adapter and an adapter for your car. So here's the box and I'm just gonna get rid of that so we have a little bit more space. Um, down we go. And this case uh, doesn't come with the Conqueco. This is something that I added uh, on Amazon. Um, I can't even remember. It just came up as a suggested item, and it's, but it's actually been really great. So this is a little case uh, that comes with, uh, with uh, this is a little case that fits this absolutely perfectly. Um, maybe the only downside is it would be nice if you could get the, the uh, charge cables or one of the charge cables in here as well, but you can't, so it has to come in separately. So uh, this is it, very simple, um, doesn't weigh too much. I think it's uh, 1.9 pounds or something. This is a five bar pressure uh, and it's a very uh, simple um, construction. So I'll just go through it with you. I've got a flask of hot water and I'll explain exactly why. So there's basically three compartments. There is a, a cup holder, um, there's the compartment that holds the, um, the capsule and then there's the water compartment which is in the top. So very simple uh, to use. So the first thing I'll have to say is that you can use this with uh, cold water in the top and you can press the button and it will warm the water up, well get the water up to uh, boiling point. Um, the downside is that it takes 10 to 15 minutes, which is, if you're desperate for a coffee, is just way too long. And the other thing is that it trashes the battery. In fact, I did one just a little bit earlier. So you'll only get, if you're putting cold water in the top, you're really only getting a couple of coffees out of this and you're having to wait uh, uh, pretty much 15 minutes uh, for your coffee. So a much better plan is to either use a kettle in the, in the hotel room if you can, or get boiling water, or if you're out traveling, you just take a little boiling water flask. And I'm just gonna show you how this works. Um, so you take off the cup, uh, undo the, um, the bottom capsule holder, stick the capsule in, uh, put this back on. This needs a little bit of force just to make sure that it's uh, solid. Uh, the cup goes back on. Um, we'll turn it on. And in the top, what we'll do is just put some boiling water. This is really only a, it's a short espresso that you can manage out of this. So you put this on. And so when you actually turn this on, if you hold this down for two seconds, that is the setting that will warm the water up and you'll have to wait 15 minutes. But if you hold it down for about five seconds, you'll get two beeps uh, and then whatever's in the top will just go straight through, whether it's cold or, or boiling or not. Um, so if you hold it for five seconds, you put cold water in, you're gonna get a cold coffee. So if you put boiling water in and you turn it on, and press it. You get the first beep, you ignore that one. Get the two beeps, and off it goes. 
and I could dance around and do various things, but it's actually pretty qu quick, uh, and it's also quite quiet even compared to the, the the normal standard Nespresso machine. It's it's got a bit of a pump in there, but it's not crazy. And there we go. It's really that simple. And we just wait for it to turn off. And we take off the cup. Just make sure you hold it nice and vertical. And there we have a steaming, nice steaming cup of coffee. Um, cheers. So a great little machine. And that is a good cup of coffee. So I'm just going to show you uh, their recommended way of cleaning it. And don't put it in a, a coffee, in a dishwasher, and that's absolutely for sure. Um, so what you do is you just take off uh, this. I'm going to make it a little bit of a mess on the table, but it's not too serious. Um, put that there. That's the used one. Uh, you put this back. Put the cup back on. Open the top. Put one coffee worth of um, water in the top and we do exactly the same as making the coffee. So we turn it on and we hold it for five seconds. And there we go. And this is all this is doing is just flushing out uh, the coffee maker with fresh water takes a few seconds. There's obviously very little resistance because there's no capsule in there. Um, and I'll just continue with my coffee. Mm. Oh, no. Not bad. So that's it. Conqueco, uh, portable uh, Nespresso coffee maker. I found it fantastic, it's worked brilliantly, it's well made, um, there's a, a battery holder in the back if you want to at some stage replace uh, your rechargeable battery, which may be the case after a year or so. Um, possibly it may be worth getting a second battery and you have it fully charged as well and then you get extra capacity. Um, but nicely made, great little system and it can save you when you desperate for a little Nespresso and you're out in the middle of nowhere or at a hotel that just hasn't done their homework and hasn't supplied a Nespresso machine for Nespresso fans, um, this is your guy.